Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be building Eddard's uh, Hellcat in 48 scale. And now this is a great kit for just starting out in uh, building aircraft or uh, if you want some a little extra detail with some photo etch and stuff like that. Now as you can see I've cut all the bits off. Uh, I am now removing some of the uh, location pins or sprue gates, whatever you want to call them, uh, with a craft knife. And then I'm just going to use a sanding stick. This could be nail file, pieces of uh, sandpaper or something like that, just to get a nice uh, finish to the part. Once any flash or location parts are removed, we can then start joining it. So to make sure you get a good, uh, good fit, uh, test fit a few times before you commit to glue. This will help you make sure you get a good join uh, and a good fit later on so you don't have any problems. I'm just using uh, Tamiya Extra Thin, as you can see there. I put it in a bit of foam to stop it falling over, getting it knocked, uh, and it starts uh, making a mess. So next up we start painting the cockpit and as you can see it's already been primed and I put it on some holders uh, and then I'm just going to prime it, uh, paint it with some uh, Mr Hobby Aquarius uh, cockpit colour. Next up is some bit of photo etch. Uh, I always use a tile to cut it, uh, and then I'm going to shape the seat belts, uh, make them a little bit less uniform, so they look more like their uh, actual uh, fabric, and then they can be uh, super glued. Uh, I just use a gel type super glue uh, to the parts left to set, and then put into place where I would like them to sit. Now this can be quite tricky. So it's best just to take your time and as you'll see I'll make a, a pig's ear of this but eventually we'll get there. Then it's start time to detailing up the actual cockpit. Now I use gel pens for this. Uh, I get asked a lot of times about these gel pens and they're just cheap ones apart from the white one here where I had to pay that little bit extra to get a separate white one. And you just dab it on, okay, really precise, uh, using white and then you can go over the top one with red, yellow, blues, whatever colour you need or require. And I just find this a really simple, easy way to add that little bit of extra detail to uh, the cockpit.
Then on to the Fort Watch uh, instrument panel. Uh, this is fairly straightforward. Uh, I've got the parts there. Just going to put some glue, uh, super glue on the back and then put the parts actually onto the mold where they need to go, really. So you can see me just getting some uh, grill glue, some gel type grill glue, and that just gets spread over the plastic part to secure the main uh, bezels and then it'll be the bits over the top. And as you can see, once it's all built up, it looks quite nice. And the uh, seat belts, once I fought them into place. Build of this uh, aircraft, I actually lost. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing to write home about. So we'll just move straight onto the painting. So I've primed it with a rattle can black primer. And here I am just picking out the center of the panel lines with a white or light colour uh, just marbling it all over the place and hopefully this will show through the uh, paint at the end and now after it's all done I'm going to fill those panels in or the underside with uh, an insignia white for the for the belly just gently building up uh, the layers so as not to get rid of all that hard work we've just done So I'm doing this scheme, rather interesting scheme, with uh, the white spine. Uh, but instead of using decals as normal nowadays, I'm going to be using a mass set. This is the mass set from the Crafting Well. Uh, some lovely stuff in there. First, the one on the wing, I need to paint the undercoat of uh, a, a silver or al aluminium type colour. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do first. So gently spraying that on, and then after that's sprayed on, we'll start at looking the masks. Now we can look at the mask sets. So uh, for the insignias uh, and the numbers, I'm going to be using this set. And first off, I'm going to be using ones for the wing. So all I need to do is take it off there to put it on there. And to do that, I get some tape, put some time with tape over the top of it, peel that off, and then I can lay that onto the actual aircraft. As you can see, it's coming off just there. Very carefully, take it, take it off, because you don't want to rip it. And then you can lay it in place and then remove the tape and then you've left with your insignia. So there we are, I'm, I'm burnishing it down and now look as I peel the tape off, it's all in place. And exactly the same principle applies for numbers. I'm going to get a little bit of tape, pour it over the top of the numbers and take them all off at the same time. So you see I've doubled up the tape there and gently tease it up again as you would. And then once we're happy, we pour it on the actual aircraft itself. 
once it's all lined up I'm happy where it is we can burnish it down and remove the tape You are gently pulling it off and there we are our mass all nicely positioned ready for the top coat we then burnish it down so now we don't get any paint bleed through like this with a cocktail stick or something similar uh, just make sure everything sits nicely We then paint the uh, insignia blue, uh, in this case Mr. Hobby Colour 326, uh, over the white. Uh, this will finish off our uh, actual uh, markings. Once that's dry, we can then get our other part of the mask set again with some tape, putting it onto the markings, okay, and then gently peeling that off and putting that into place. And once burnished down, we have got our mask in place ready for the next part of the painting, which we'll be moving on to after being masking the spine and other parts, moving on to the intermediate blue. Uh, and for this, I am just going to paint it freehand. So, this is the first time I've ever tried this, and I think it turned out quite, uh, quite well. So that is on to the USN uh, C blue and again just painting this freehand uh, and hoping for the best. <laughs>
muscle that's done for the last mass part it's for the 004 as you can see there and I'm going to just treat it exactly the same same uh, now in the folds this looked like it was just sprayed on this is why I've done it this way as opposed to the other way uh, putting it on first uh, putting the, the mask in place taking the tape off leaving behind uh, the uh, outer part and then we get our 004 And then it's just painted in this uh, in this instance uh, rubber black from Tamiya, uh, and then we can peel it off, and we should be left with the uh, number. So I just peel it off and there we are, I think it's looking really really good, get my knife under there so I can get it up, and there we are, I think that looks cracking. Next up we'll remove some of the uh, markings on the wings uh, and what have you, so if you just bear with me you'll be able to see it all in real time and there we are to me that looks okay I'm really happy with that moving on to the wing walks and then from the wing walks we move on to taking the uh, ones off on the fuselage So I'm really happy how they've turned out after all the masking's come off. Not perfect, but they are, you know, they've worked out really well, so I'm quite happy with them. Next up, it's just some simple chipping uh, to start off the weathering uh, with a paintbrush and some uh, uh, foam and just randomly adding scratches, chips and all that sort of stuff.
So even though we did most of the markings in uh, paint, there are still some that we need to add. So in this, we're going to start putting some uh, of the decals on uh, using Microset and Sol. So we apply the Microset first after putting the uh, decal in some warm water and then burnish it down with a cotton swab and then we can uh, put some set it. Uh, set on after that sorry some sol on after that I always protect my uh, paintwork for decals with a, a gloss coat uh, once all my decals are actually being applied and they are dry and I'm set and happy they will then the aircraft will then get another gloss coat to protect the decals So after the gloss coat is starting on uh, a weathering wash uh, and I just use this mix uh, weathering wash just apply it to all the seam lines any any rivets or anything like that all over the aircraft and then they, we will remove it once it's all done once it's all dried Once it's dry, I just use a dry cloth and with it being on a, a gloss surface, you should be able to remove most of it. Any stubborn stains or anything like that, we can just get some thinner and just remove it uh, with that thinner. All right, time to add some more uh, chipping and just using two colors, uh, I've created a uh, like a green zinc chromate colour which then I can add to certain parts of the aircraft to uh, highlight some more chips and stuff like that. Next up some exhaust stains, I'm mixing these uh, colours together, gave me a base uh, dirty grey colour for the uh, to start off the exhaust. So I've just put some tape where I don't want that to go and then just using my airbrush uh, with a really thin coat, so about 70% thinner to 30% paint, I can just apply the, uh, the under tone of the exhaust.
Once the undertone's done, I've just added some deck tan to that colour and thinned it down even more. And this is just going to be like the actual uh, grey type colour that comes out of some exhaust and what have you. And again, just applying it with, with my airbrush, however I'd like to see it. Next up, we're just going to add some grease stains, some, uh, some other bits of uh, oil stains with a, a uh, oil paint. Uh, very different colours just to add some different tones and shades to the actual part and there we are putting it in place uh, and then with a, a dry brush I'm just going to blend this in to the exhaust part. And I'm just going to do that in all the parts where I feel it needs it. Uh, and with that done, that's the actual build finished. We are after putting on all the uh, external parts which uh, no glue really was uh, needed for all the wheels or anything like that. Uh, they just slot nicely in place. Uh, uh, the Hellcats finished. I hope you enjoyed this build. Uh, until the next one, ta-ra.